Hi friends, today I'm going to teach you how to remember numbers easily. You can remember any number, any phone number that you desire to remember and you can do this quite easily. Uh, you can use what is known as the major number system. And to use the major number system, I will show you how to use it as well as how to easily memorize and learn it uh, in the next few minutes. So just watch along and by the end of this video, you will really know how to learn and memorize any number that you desire. So let's start with the major number system calculator. You can actually Google for this. And if you, there are several of them, uh, you know, the generator, somebody calls it the mnemonic, keyword search tool and num z remember number so on uh, so we'll just go to the first result here now let's start with a simple number let's say 1801 you want to remember 1801 um, you can do this for larger numbers and we'll get to that but for now let's just start with 1801 so we're going to type in 1801 and now we're going to do show words and we see it came up with three different words here, divest, advised, and atavist. And the uh, word advised is probably the easiest one uh, for me in these three to remember. So let's say that this 1801 corresponds to a friend's address. Let's say his name is John. And so the we're going to make up a phrase uh, which is quite you know visual so let's say John advised me about his address so now we know that John's address is what he advised me about and advised is the keyword here so now on a future day I want to remember what was John's building number so I'm gonna remember hey John advised me about his address so it, what does advised correspond to? So advised, so D is corresponds to a one, S cor, V corresponds to an eight, S corresponds to a zero, and D corresponds to a one. So you might say, hey, well, you skipped the A and the I and, and the E, what happened here? Well, the thing is, it goes by the sound. So, and so the first sound is advised so there's an ah sound but that doesn't correspond to anything and the duh sound corresponds to a one and then v cor corresponds to an eight and su corresponds to a zero so su corresponds to a zero because zero zero like you can think of like z's and su's as zeros and d's correspond to a one so that's how you have 1801 in advised let's look at the numbers themselves and what each number corresponds to so a zero like we just said corresponds to a su or za. a one like we saw in advised corresponds to a t d or th t d th so that's because the t and the d they have like a single vertical line in them a tall one and n has two vertical lines so n corresponds to two and m has three vertical lines so m corresponds to a three now four is ends in a r sound four and so the letter is r r four next is five which is l um, so that's because of the Ro roman letter l and then six is ja cha sha ja cha sha. So six um and then seven is ka ka ga ka ka you know you can spell it in various ways C or K or G or Q or C K but the sound is very similar. And then eight uh, is v f or f uh, v f or p h 
So I remember eight kind of like a uh, faux, you know, like uh, noodles and they can form kind of eight shape. Uh, just noodles can kind of go around and perhaps there's octopuses in the noodle soup. And then nine is P or B, B or B. And P looks like a backwards nine and the B looks like an upside down backwards nine. So that's kind of the reason P and B and they sound similar, P or B. So, okay, that's great. So now if you remember, what is John's address? Uh, so John advised me about his address, advise. So there's no a uh here in this lettering system. So a D is a one, V is eight, S is zero, and the an another da is one so we remember that advised is 1801 it's john's uh address let's do another example so pick a number that you want to memorize let's say we are going to pick uh, a phone number this time let's say three four six seven eight nine six and let's see if we can show words and as you can see there's no results for this number so what we're going to do is we're going to memorize this as two separate words. We're going to take the first three digits, 346, and then we're going to take the next three digits, 7896. So let's show some words for 346. So here you can see some words for 346 are like March. Let's take March. And then let's do 7896. 7896 and there's no results so let's try just 789 really um okay so even 789 is not showing me any results so let's see if we can go back to google here and use the second link here and see if this one can come up with something for 7896 nothing let's see um 789 nothing so 78 all right so for 78 i found some results um coffee let's go with coffee or we can use gave or give away or give or goof and then let's find something for nine six all right so nine six is let's say we have all of these words so now this is somebody's phone number and we want to basically be able to make up a phrase with a March coffee. Um, let's pick peach. So let's say that this phone number belongs to Alan. And so Alan bought us March coffee peach. And let's just say it's the peach coffee in in March backwards right so let's just make up a backward sentence peach coffee March Allen and that's what we'll do so you remember now that Allen bought coffee in March uh, but it goes March coffee peach so if you can remember Allen bought us March coffee peach so and the keywords are March coffee peach we can revert that as March coffee peach so using March coffee peach can you do a backwards um, reversal of the phonetics so what does March coffee peach correspond to well let's start with March so march let's go back to our list here 
I mean, we can also use this to do the number of a word. So like we could type in March and show the number and it'll tell us March, coffee, peach. I don't know if it'll do three words or not. Oh, it did. So if we do March, coffee, peach, you can see it's three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, six. Um, now you can also do this on your own. M has three vertical sticks. It's a three. R is a four. Ch is a six. And then coffee. So K is a seven. Um, sorry. Yeah. And then F is a eight. And then P is a nine. It's an upside down nine, backwards nine, uh, P or B. And then J is a six. So March Coffee Peach is Alan's phone number. Uh, so it's three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, six. Now that you have learned the number system, um, you know, that there are some details to the rules uh, which you could see. Uh, so for example, double letters are discarded, like SS is still just one single zero. Because it still sounds the same, right? So whether you put one S or two S's, it still sounds like a S. And that's why it's still a single zero. And so, now, but if you wanted to do two zeros, how would you do it? Well, you would have to separate the two sa sounds. So you'd have to say like sass, right? And then you'd know that it's two zeros. So, okay. Um, so that's the number major, major number system. Now, if you want to practice the number system uh, and really get it, you know, down well so that you really remember it, you can go to acmetutor.com games and look for this millionaire major number system game. And if you will play this game, 